Hey YouTube, what's going on? Thought I'd do a quick first look at a new saddle I recently bought for my um, my Venge um, and winter training, most importantly. Um, Specialised power expert. Uh, this is a slightly budget option, slightly budget at 100 quid. 100 quid is never budget, but it's the budget option in the range of these. I think there might be a Chromo one, but I can't find it for sale anywhere in the UK. Um, but this is the one with the hollow titanium wheels. Um, just thought I'd do a quick, quick video to show you what it's all about. I um, bought this from a local bike shop, Mickey Franks. Um, so yeah, this has got a big cutout and it's designed for slightly more aggressive body positions. Uh, so you don't have too much pressure on your squidgy bits. Um, looking on the back. Um, it does come in multiple uh, widths as well. I've got the 143. That's my size according to the specialised dealership. Um, I usually run 143. I usually run a specialised Roman saddle. Um, but uh, yeah, that was 143, but I thought I'd get checked out before spending 100 quid. Um, interesting features. Uh, it's got these two mounts at the rear where you can bolt um, specialised SWAT accessories to. Uh, I'm going to look into that in the future because it looks like some interesting options and some cool stuff people have been 3D printing for this. Um, stay tuned for that one. Uh, let's have a look at the packaging. Uh, body geometry groove relieves pain and numbness by eliminating pressure on nerves, arteries and soft tissues. Personalised sizing, utilising saddle width measuring tool, that's what I sat on. You basically go to the store and they have a, a seat with memory foam that your, your sit bones press into. There's a little dial um, to like size you up on it. It's really simple, it probably takes about a minute tops to do. It's probably worth doing before you outlay a bunch of cash. Um, yeah, consult a technician, proper saddle selection. So yeah, that's pretty pretty good for that. I mean, if you're spending a hundred bucks on something, you want to uh, you want to get the right size. Um, so going to an actual shop is probably worthwhile if you don't know your actual size. Now, let's pull this off and see what this little tag says. So let's have a look at this label. Um, yeah, so uh, one of the features of the saddle is slightly shorter um, than the standard saddle. Just allows you to, well, allows you a couple of interesting things. Um, in like pure UCI racing, I believe there's a rule which measures the setback between, if you measure vertically, then horizontally, position of the nose of the saddle in comparison to the bottom bracket. That allows you to slide this saddle um, slightly forwards to get around UCI rules. Doesn't bother me, I don't race in UCI races. Um, but yeah, that's one interesting quirk of this saddle. Um, it's, yeah, it's about three centimeters shorter than the standard saddle. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get my old saddle up in a tick and have a look at that as well. So yeah, signing USA. Um, hollow titanium. Power there. Funny little dots here. Yeah, it's a saddle. It's black. It's got hollow titanium rails. Uh, let's stick it on some scales. Let's get rid of this first. So we're zeroing the scales. Plonk it on there. 227 claims it the weight is that's a claim weight, it's on here somewhere. 233. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so it's underweight. That's pretty good. It's not usually that way around. So I have interest. Let's have a weighing of my old saddle. This is a Roman Cromoly rails. Uh, saved a couple of grams there, nothing to worry about too much, but savings are saving. So I thought I'd just do a quick side to side between these two saddles to see where they compare. So first off, I can get in screen, but you can see how much uh, shorter the, the new power saddle is compared to traditional, traditional one. 
it's only about three centimeters. Also, kind of wider. Cutouts a lot bigger. Cutouts a lot deeper, I think. Like this is still relatively close to the surface. This one's like right buried under there. Feels like there's actually quite a bit more padding on this power saddle in comparison, so that could be interesting. Don't usually want to go for padding, but people seem to rave about it. So yeah, that's a comparison between two saddles. Um, yeah, if you have any experience or anything, let me know what you think. I'm just gonna set it up on server trainer. I'm right for three hours, so I'll let you know how it goes after that. Okay, cheers, thanks. So it's three months later since I've done that initial unboxing. I've done 1500 kilometers on the saddle and I think I've got enough experience to give a comprehensive review. First, the negative aspects. Um, I find the saddle a little hard to find my position on. So there's no concaveness to the saddle to make you feel like you're sat in it. So it's quite sensitive to your fore and aft position on the bike. Um, secondly, also related to its lack of concaveness, is it's very sensitive to angle. If you get it outside of the perfect angle for you, um, numbness can occur quite easily. So those are my two only negative gripes. They're quite minor really, and it's all to do with setup. So on to the positives. First off, this is an extremely comfortable saddle once it's set up correctly for yourself. I think the hardest test for a saddle is turbo trainer. I've done four hours with sessions on this saddle and had no issues at all. It's still early days, but um, the saddle is showing virtually no signs of wear at all. It seems to be very hard wearing. The photos above, um, I all shot um, today. So, um, that's not a brand new saddle you've seen, that's one with three months of use. So in conclusion, I'd highly recommend this saddle with two caveats. First, is that you buy it from a specialized dealership and get a fit to work out the correct width for yourself. Second, is you persevere with the positioning of the saddle on your bike. This is one of the things that caught me out. It's ex I find the saddle extremely position sensitive. So overall, I'd highly recommend this saddle for anybody interested in road and maybe even gravel riding. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Perfect, perfect.